What is up guys? Welcome back. Ryzen. It's everywhere at the minute. AMD have hit the nail on the head with this processor. They've come back in style and alongside the processor we've had many brands bringing out more boards to accommodate this new processor. Now one of the brands who have created a mobile board for it is MSI obviously. They've been straight on it and they've come out with Crate Gaming X370. Now they sent it to me so I can show you guys unboxing and give you an overview and that's exactly what I've done so let's go and check it out guys. So here we are guys with the MSI Crate Gaming X370 motherboard designed for the Ryzen processor. So let's go ahead and crack this open. So again as we always do as we've seen before MSI branding all over the place still a great quality box. Let's get this open and see what we have inside. Now obviously the first thing we come across is the motherboard, which is great. Thank God it's there. So what we'll do is first we'll just grab this and we'll set this aside for now. We'll come back to this in a second. Now in the rest of the box we have where the motherboard was sat. Let's take this top off. And underneath we have our manual, which is handy. We have uh, the thank you note, which we always get. A CD, obviously has the drivers and utilities on board. Quick installation guide. have our labels, always handy, always keep them. Got plenty of paper in this one. Ah, memory modules, guide, and the screw type for CPU heatsink. It's a handy piece of information if you're new to building your own computers. What else do we have in here? Ah, got the ribbon for SLI. Nice of MSI to include this. We have ah yeah standard cabling that comes along with the motherboards. And the IO shield. That lovely emblazoned MSI logo right there. Do we have anything else in here? No, we do not. So that's the box. Empty. Let's take a look at the motherboard. The motherboard in its wrapper. Obviously, be very careful with this now. We'll remove this slowly. And there we are. One Crate Gaming X370 Gaming Motherboard from MSI. Very nice. Uh, let's get to the specs and the overview. Let's go guys. The MSI X370 Crate Gaming Motherboard comes with VR Boost which is a smart chip that ensures a clean and strong signal to a VR optimized USB port located on the back so as to reduce the amount of motion sickness caused by a bad signal because that's the last thing we need here guys isn't it. It comes along with a Turbo M.2 which supports up to 32 gigabytes of super fast transfers of memory is what you need and this can provide it. It also has DDR4 boost which ensures maximum performance and stability. And to minimize the EMI and strengthen the slots, the PCIe and M.2 slots are protected with steel armor. This motherboard also comes along with Lightning USB 3.1 Gen 2. It can also support two-way SLI or three-way crossfire. We have Mystic Light extensions on here to provide an intuitive way to control additional RGB strips or say other RGB components added to your system. Uh, it, come, it really eliminates the need for an RGB controller, which is great. Also comes on with Xboost, which allows you to really enhance the performance of any storage device or USB device you have connected to your system. And most importantly, 
This motherboard obviously supports the AMD Ryzen series processors and it also supports the 7th gen A series Athlon processors for socket AM4. Audio wise, on board we've got Audio Boost with Nehemic 2 which really gives you a premium sound quality near on studio as close as we can get with an on board chip. Now currently the cheapest place I can find this online is Ballycom International which has free shipping at £142.30 but for a bit of ease of mind and to put myself at rest when I'm purchasing I do like to go to scan.co.uk they are currently selling this with free shipping at £151.99 So there we have it guys, the Crate Gaming X370 for the Ryzen processor It's a great motherboard but is it the motherboard for you guys? Well you can only tell by the information they're giving you and let me know also if you've actually got one of these and what your thoughts are on it and if you're planning on getting one of these. And what do you think of the Ryzen processor? Is it worth it? Have AMD really hit the nail on the head with it? Have they really challenged Intel? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Anyway guys, I've been MCI Gamer. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And as always, bye bye for now.